I am filming my makeup inventory today while I'm filming the intro. I already filmed the separate categories and when I read off the numbers to you, that was filmed in October. So I, I really don't think that this is gonna go up until November, the first week of November. So hopefully you'll understand that this is the third quarter of my makeup inventory. I did one in January and I'll probably do a finale or a final update either at the very end of December or at the very beginning of January just so you can kind of see how my collection has decreased or increased or whatever. If you wanted to bounce around between the different categories or if you had no interest in something like eyebrow pencils or setting sprays, you can skip over them. I'll leave all of the um, timestamps for the different categories so you can bounce around in the description box down there. Just open that up. And I think that's it. So I'll cut to the products right now. Starting out with face primers. I had two minis in January and currently I have seven. These are all very extremely small deluxe sizes. There's four of these MAC strobe creams. There's a Dior Dream Skin, one from Murad, and one from Clinique. This MAC strobe cream has... It's about halfway finished off already, so as soon as this is done, I'll move on to one of the other mini ones, but I'm not really too worried about this category, even though there is a ton of them. Then I have foundations, and I had four in January, and currently I have six. This one is one of my favorites. This is the Clinique Super Balance. There's the Estee Lauder Double Wear MAC Studio Fix. This one's over halfway finished up. I have the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau. One from Tarte and a cream foundation from MAC. For BB cream and tinted moisturizers, I had three of them in January and right now I have two. This one is actually, there's probably only that much left in this one, so this one should be finished off soon. This one's from L'Oreal. This is the Silky Sheer BB cream and then this one is the Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream, so not too worried about this category. It did go down by one. Then is my concealer category. I had five in January, and right now I have four of them. There's the MAC Pro Longwear Makeup Forever Full Cover. That one's my all-time favorite, one from NARS, and then the YSL Touche Clot. I am switching things around and now I'm including a corrector category. So I have two correctors, two under eye correctors. This is one from Tarte and then one from NYX. I don't know, I might be decluttering the NYX one soon. I'm just not too fond of the formula. It's a bit dry and my under eyes really can't handle that. I would say with both of these, I have a really hard time with foundation or concealer going on top of them. Sometimes they ball up depending on what product is going on top, so I'll have to mess around with them a little bit. My face powder category, and all together I have five. In January I had four, so I have went up by one, even though there are two new products in here. The pressed category, I have three of them over here. There's one from Laura Geller and two from MAC. This is a brand new one. And then I have two loose currently. This one is a new one. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This one was sent to me from Octoly. So there are my face powders. And moving on to bronzers. I had six in January. Currently I have six, but I do have these two right here that are over halfway finished up. They're almost done. This NARS one right here. You can see barely anything left. And then my Tarte one, the Park Avenue Princess, full size is definitely more than halfway. Well, I would say it's about halfway on this one as well. I have a mini of this one right here. I also have the NYX blush in taupe. I have the Burberry Earthy blush in number seven right here. I can actually use this one as an eyeshadow or a contour bronzer product. So that is it there. The last one here is from MAC and this is actually a duo product but I always keep this one in my bronzer and contour. So this one over here, this is Bone Beige right there and I usually reach for this in the summertime since it is so warm. So there you have it, no change in the bronzers. Onto my blush, I had 31 in January and currently I have 29. There's some from Milani, Cargo, Clinique, Sephora, 
Jordana. These are really nice blushes. I like the Jordana blushes. There's one from The Balm, City Color. Here's my Benefit. There's some from Clinique, Burberry, NARS, Tarte, Hourglass, and then all of these are MAC right over here and one Kat Von D blush. So this one did go down by a couple and I'm planning to work on the Tarte exposed blush next. So I have 29. That one, I'm happy that that has went down a little bit. As for cream blush, I had one in January. I have two now. I have one well, they're both deluxe sizes, but this one over here from Tarte is the one that I had before, and this one just showed up from Birchbox. This is one of the Milk Cream blushes. You can actually use it on your lips or your cheeks. So two cream blushes that did go up by one. Then I have my brow pencils. In January, there were eight of them, and currently there are six. This one is still in its box. There's one from Benefit, three from Maybelline, one from It Cosmetics and one from Anastasia. So this has went down. I'm pretty happy about that. Next up are highlighters. I did have eight of them in January. Currently I have eight, even though this is a new one and this one is almost finished. It doesn't look like it's almost done, but I had to repress this. I had major pan and so I repress this. It's incredibly thin in here. So this one should be the next one to go. I'm thinking of tossing this one into a project to use it up. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl Highlighter. There's one from Becca. This is my only cream highlighter. There's a Laura Mercier, NARS Albatross, The Balm, Mary Luminizer, and then these three are from MAC. Pretty decent. I'm pretty satisfied with this category. Then I have eyeshadow primers, and these are pretty basic. I can put whatever I want over the top of them. I did find the e.l.f. glitter primer when I was moving, so this is a new one to this category, even though it's not a new product. So in January, I did have five, and I currently have five. I did finish one of these off in the Finish 13 by Halloween, but like I said, it didn't change because I found this one when I was moving. So five then, five now. Now on to my colored cream eyeshadows and cream bases. So I lump up the potted cream bases with the ones that are in the stick form and them all together. In January I had 24. Currently I have 30 because I did find five of them when I was moving. So anyway, with just the potted form, I had 14 in January, and I still have 14 now. I have two Chanel Illusion de Ombres, one of the Christian Dior Fusion Mono eyeshadows. This one's in Millennium. I have a MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Here's a MAC Fluid Line, and generally these are gel eyeliners, but this one's in such a light shade that I use it as a cream base. A cream shadow all over the lid, so really love this one. There's an e.l.f. long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow over here. This one's in Soiree. This is a really gorgeous color. I have all of these Maybelline color tattoos. This one is not opened, and then these two are almost finished. You can see in there there's over half of there's over half of the product used up in these, so they should be used up really quickly. This one I use for my eyebrows, so Sometimes I don't add it in to the mix, but the toughest taupe is the color that I use in my eyebrows. And then this is Bad to the Bronze that is almost finished. Thinking about adding this one into a project so it'll be used up before the end of the year. And then the only other one that I have is this white one, the shimmery white one from Flower Cosmetics. So 14 in January, 14 now. Pretty happy with this category. I don't need any more anytime soon. So the other half of this category and why it is at 30 are the stick form of the cream eyeshadows and these five mini Laura Mercier caviar sticks are the ones that I found when we were moving. So all of these from here over are Laura Mercier. There's one from Clinique Tristique that I got from Ipsy, 
two from NYX, one from Cargo, Makeup Forever, and this is a new one that was sent to me from Octoly. That one's from By Terry. I had 11 of these in January, and I have 16 currently. So between these and the potted ones, I have 30 altogether. Moving on to my eyeliners, my pencil eyeliners. I had 15 in January, and currently I have 16. I have five black eyeliners, but these three over here on the right are really close to being finished up. They should be gone before the end of the year, I would assume. I have a deluxe Kat Von D one that's a black with some shimmer in it. There's a full-size black one that I haven't opened yet. I'm waiting to finish off these three. There's a nude one that I have all the time. There's one brown one, and then the rest are my colored pencils. So there's two silvers here. This, uh, this one here from Julep is like a taupe shade. That's really pretty. I really like this aqua one from Makeup Forever. That's a gorgeous color in 12L. This one's really pretty. My green one here from Jordana is almost finished up. This is like a sparkly taupey green color from Kiko. Then I have a yellow one from Butter London and then two purples. There's one from Makeup Forever and NYX. So I don't know, I can work on some of my colored uh, pencils for next year, but I'm happy with where I'm at. I have a lot of minis that I need to use up, but they shouldn't take too long. Onto my gel eyeliners. I have four. They're all from MAC. They're all the MAC Fluid Line liners. Let me open them up so you can see the shades. There's the Black Track Fluid Line. This one is was a limited edition one. This is in Little Black Bow, and it's like a gunmetal, silvery, shimmery one. It's kind of hard to wear this one as a liner. And then I have two colored ones. This is the Royal Wink, and then this is Blue Peep. I really like the MAC Fluid Line liners. They can be worn on the lid or in the waterline, and they don't, they don't flake, they don't crumble. They stay all day for me. So there was my gel liners. No change in that category. My liquid eyeliners are looking kind of sparse, so I had five in January. I still have five right now, even though I've had some come in and some go out. So I have this one over on the right is the Ico Fat Liquid Liner. I got that from Birchbox. This one came in an Influencer box. This one is the Master Max Factor Masterpiece High Precision Eyeliner. And this one's kind of weird. It has like a paddle shape tip. I'm still trying to get the hang of that one. And then there's one from Jordana right here. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and then the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner in Jet Black. I really like this one. It's one of those brush tip liners, so... Anyway, that was my liquid eyeliners. I do keep a separate category for my bottom lash mascara. I use the Clinique bottom lash on my bottom lashes, so... Generally, there will always be one. So, in January, I had one. This is a brand new one, and this is the only bottom lash mascara that I have in my collection currently. For my mascaras, I've been working on this category for probably two years now, and I had 28 in January, and currently I have 25. In January, I did have seven mascaras open. Currently, I just have three opened. It's these three over here, the Unique, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and the L'Oreal Telescopic. These are the only ones that I have open right now. I have 22 that are unopened in this over here. So these two up here on the top, I got those from Influencer. There's the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Max Factor. There's a Benefit They're Real. CK1 mascara that I got from Ulta on my birthday. I need to open that one up soon. Here's one from CoverGirl, one of the Star Wars ones, Julep Length Matters, Neutrogena Healthy Volume, three from Clinique, three Benefit They're Real, Dior, Lorac, Marcel, Neutrogena, two from Lancome, and then two of these really small Buxom mascaras, and a little very small sample of the MAC Zoom Lash mascara over here. So I'm pretty happy with this category. It's going down slowly, but it is going down. Onto my single eyeshadows. I had 36 in January. Right now I have 29. I have my six Burberry eyeshadows over here, six ColourPop, some of the original Makeup Forever singles, one from Urban Decay, Pacifica, Kiko, Japanese, Cargo, there's some Wet n Wild, and then all of my L'Oreal Infallible shadows. So I think this category has went down quite a bit. The fact that I'm down under 30 on this category too really makes me happy. So there were these singles. 
Onto loose pigments, I had six in January, and currently in October I have six. I have a little sample of the rose pigment from Max, one of the NYX roll-on shimmers, and then four of the crushed metallic pigments from Max. So that category stayed the same. I don't use loose pigments very often, that's why I don't have very many to begin with. So there were those. Onto duos, trios, and quads. This has went down by a ton. I had 17 in January and I did a quite a decent declutter, I think. I got rid of a lot of my Clinique shadows like this, but I am down to nine currently. So I separated them into duos, trios, and quads. Over here on the left, there's one from MAC and two from Clinique. Even though this one has three in here, there's only two shadows and I don't use that blush. I have three trios here. There's one from Physician's Formula. I really love this one. This is the Baked their baked Collection in Baked Berries. This is such a pretty trio here. I really love this one. And then the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells, another one from Clinique. And then my quads over here, I have the Maybelline Quad. This one's in Mad for Mauve. The Maybelline Quad in Chic Naturals 40Q Designer Chocolates. This one I'm panning this year, so I'll link that video, that series, down in the description box in case you want to follow along while I pan that. And then a green quad here from Clinique. So this one went down by so much. I'm so happy with this one. Then for large palettes, I had 24 in January. Right now I have 19. So I have all of my naked palettes over here on the left, the Lorac Pro 2. The Naked Basics 1 and 2, the Laura Mercier Eye Art Artist Palette right there, Smoked Palette from Urban Decay, Bare Minerals Power Neutrals, a Buxom Custom Palette that was sent to me from Ipsy with my points. I have two of these MAC double-sided palettes, so you're only seeing one. That's where that extra palette's coming from, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. All of these are Urban Decay. There's the Deluxe Shadow Box, the Feminine Palette, Pulp Fiction Palette, the NYX Butt Naked, cool, Neutral Cool Palette from MAC, I think is what it's called. The last palette over here on the right is my Old MAC Palette. And this has all of my Wet n Wild shadows that I've depotted. I took all the shades out of my duos, trios, and quads and put them in here, the shades that I would use. So there are all of my palettes. Then I have my lip liners. I had eight in January. Currently I have seven. Even though this is a new one over here on the left from Birchbox, this is one from Model Co. Um, I have finished off two of my clear lip liners this year. Two from NYX, 17C from Makeup Forever. I really love that orange lip liner. And then three from MAC. I'm adding in a new category this year. So for liquid lipsticks, I have Five. Currently, I have two of the Sephora Cream Lip Stains, one from Stila, this one's in Patina, and then two of the Bare Minerals Matte Lipsticks right there. So I don't really feel like I need too many more. I feel like I have my bases covered with like a nude and one or two brights. So. On to clear lip balms and lip treatments. I had eight in January and I have 10 now. So really quickly, I have a very small EOS Carmex Nivea Lip Butter. There's one from Mary Kay. This one's really nice. This one's probably my all-time favorite lip balm. This is the Lip Seal Swedish Lip Balm. Here's one from Melaleuca, one from Sephora. This is the Christian Dior, oh, what is this called? Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip, lip Balm. The By Terry Balm de Rose, that one's really nice. And then the Co Bigelow Rose Salve. So I don't need any more clear lip balms or lip treatments. I'm set, I think. As far as tinted lip balms go, I did pretty good in this category. I had 14 in January, and right now I have 9. I have the By Terry Balm de Rose in a color. I think it's called the Nutra Balm de Rose or something. This one is in number 8, Mob Moon. This is actually really pretty. Let me show you really quick. That's what it looks like there. This is super gorgeous. And it's not quite as intense as it looks in the jar. I have one of the lip butters from Carez. Fresh Sugar Rosé. One from Burt's Bees. Maybelline Baby Lips. CoverGirl of Sugar. Pixie Shea Lip Balm. A Lolly Balm from Benef Benefit. And the Dior Lip Glow. I really like this one too. So this category I'm very happy with so far this year.
For my lip gloss category, this I've been working on this category for probably two years now too, and I think it's starting to look really good. Um, I had 38 in January, and I'm down to 29. I have decluttered a few. There should be a declutter video coming up soon, but I have used up quite a bit. So I have the, over here on the left, I have Clinique, the Benefit Bella Bomba, one from Makeup Forever. These are all Buxom right here, these four. There's one from Tarte. These are all MAC right here. Two from Laura Mercier, Bare Minerals, Marvelous Moxie, one from Mali. These are all NYX right here. Tarina Tarantino, Urban Decay Naked. When I was moving, I found these. These are the Makeup Forever Lab Shine lip glosses, and these were my all-time favorite gloss. They discontinued it, sadly, so I'm really happy that I found these when we moved. And then I have two from Dior over there. So this is looking really good. I'm really happy that I'm down under 30. I used to have like 80 lip glosses. It was absolutely insane. So super stoked about this one. Then moving on to my lipsticks, I did have 118 in January and currently I have 101 at the moment. This is just a small portion of my lipsticks, but over here on the left there's YSL, Chanel, Estee Lauder, Bare Minerals, Dior, LOC from Birchbox. All of these from this one right here over to here are NARS. These are all Bite, Burberry, Kat Von D, a little one from Make that I also received from Birchbox. Up here on the left, I have L'Oreal from that very far left one over to this tall skinny pink one. There's Revlon, Milani, Maybelline all the way to here. One ColourPop, three Buxom, and then five Clinique on the far right. I keep my MAC lipsticks in a separate acrylic organizer and I almost forgot to add them in, but here are my MAC lipsticks. I do, I did have to put something over on the side so they didn't roll away, but I have some of the standard lipsticks that are all in the regular black tubing. This one over here on the far left is one of the mineralized lipsticks. There's one of the huggable lipsticks. These are the Sheen Supremes, these four right here. There's a couple in limited edition packaging. And then I have three of these that came in a set. Those are the patent polished lip pencils. There was four originally, but I finished one of them off already. Here is the other portion of my lipsticks. I have Flower Beauty. These two are Rimmel. There is one single one from Hard Candy, NYX, NYC. These two are Wet n Wild. This one is actually my Fergie Daily lipstick that I depotted into one of my old Dior Lip Glow containers, but this is a Wet n Wild lipstick. Then I have one from Essence. These are all Tarte from this over to here. I did find my extra NARS lipstick kicking around, so eh, not as nice as I would have hoped, but I think I might declutter one or two more before the end of the year. So I'm not too disappointed with it. At least the number is declining. That's all that matters to me. And moving on to the setting sprays and facial mists. I did have two in January. Right now I have three of them. Um, this, my MAC Fix Plus is almost done. It is down to right here. So it should be done in no time. And then this Urban Decay All Nighter has been kicking around for a while. I am all the way down to right here in this product. The L'Oreal Infallible is pretty full for the most part. So I did go up by one in this, but I think that's because I did repurchase one of my MAC Fix Plus setting sprays. Here are my perfumes. In January, I did count that I had 38. Right now, I have 34. Here's the majority, and then I do have a handful that I'll show in the next clip that includes my body sprays and stuff. So this one did go down. I did find a couple when we were moving, so you know that that number does fluctuate just a little bit. And here are the last few stragglers that I could not fit onto the board for perfumes. Again, it went from 38 to 34. Here are my nail polishes, and I have found a handful since we moved, and I have received a couple from friends and family members, but I also picked up a few of them not too long ago. So currently it has went up. It went from 101 
to 107, but I, I do have the Project Polish series going on now. I'll link a couple of those videos down in the description box below, but this is what half of my collection looks like at the moment. I have everything from Zoya, uh, Color Club, China Glaze, OPI, Formula X, Wet n Wild, Sinful Colors, Revlon, Illamasqua. Like, I have everything here. So, here is a little snippet of some of them. And here are the other polishes. I have all of my minis here, and then the julep polishes that came from my mother. These along the top, these are most of my polishes that are in Project Polish. This one's not, but it didn't really fit anywhere else. So that is my nail polish collection. I should have a couple more finished off before the end of the year, and I can be back down to around 100, I would I would think. Even though 100 polishes is more than I need, I definitely feel like it is much better than it used to be, so that's my nail polish collection at the moment.